know, I can do a document scan, something like that. This is actually taking a picture, but I can do a document scan. Um, it's already got the uh, the scan, so I can take an image. Now, I can OK that. And then it's in my, now it's in my document library. And so I'm just going to pull it down to my workspace. And if I want to, I can add some text to that and say, hey, this is a really cool document. So using the virtual keyboard. So you can use the, uh, oh, the boy. Okay, what Marvin's doing right now, if you just walked up, he's actually doing a 3D scan of this uh, this face mask. And so we can uh, do whatever we want with that 3D scan. We can turn it into a 2D image, and uh, we can change the colors. We can manipulate it a number of different ways. So if I want to take that image and... Uh, I want to uh, I want to keep this picture, but uh, I want to take out this picture and this picture. Then I can do that. Whereas it's very natural for us to create things in a workspace in front of us. Um, that's what we have right here on this touchy mat. We got a 23 inch display on the top, 20 inch display on the bottom and uh, allows us to create documents, manipulate objects, graphics, whatever you like to do, or a traditional Windows desktop uh, right there. Uh, so it's actually, a, can serve as a traditional second display if you like. But really it's the workspace. And this becomes the application space. The keyboard would then come in. Yeah, so, so if you want to add text to, uh, this is kind of a, uh, you know, an, an item I'm working on with a couple of different images. So if you want to add text to that, uh, we can do that. Uh, we can just, and I can move that around, and then I can make that. Uh, I can turn it blue. I can make it much bigger. And if I was working on a